Yoriwa, Yoriwa, yo mape. On me veut dire que c'est un gars. Il y a sur le Zamabé. Yoriwa, Zamabé. Osano Mabé. Azalaki, l'ande Koranga. L'ande Koranga. Akosonga te, akosonga te, balinga, akosonga te, akosonga te, te kobanga, azalaki, abaninga banga, akosonga te, akosonga te, akosonga te, akosonga te, banga. Motunga na zalaki kumona. Eni okori ye Akufia kena lilita mwinga Mwinga nanga ya kena lilita Malati Ekoti la choto ya teko La choto ya teko nanga Eni okori ye Eni okori ye Eko aki ako zonga te Zonga na ye Oninga malamu, oninga eshango, oninga na mai. Ako zonga te, ako zonga te, te, ako zonga te. Ako na. Kwa 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 Ya 
gives us all life and blessing and to hear the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ who died and rose again in order to save all those who trust in him. Nous accueillons la famille et les amis de Claude Mankulu Tungu à ce service funéraire ici à Grove Chapel. Nous sommes ici pour nous souvenir de sa vie, pour adorer le Dieu qui nous donne à tous la vie et la bénédiction, et pour entendre l'évangile du Seigneur Jésus-Christ, qui est mort et ressuscité, afin de sauver tous ceux qui lui font confiance. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, giver of life. We worship you today. We praise you that you are the God who gives life, family, blessing, seasons of joy as well as seasons of sorrow. We thank you for the many happy memories of Paul as his family and friends share. And we pray that you would be with those who grieve and make yourself known in your mighty power to everyone here today. Bring to us all the comfort and the peace that only you can bring. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Prions ensemble. Dieu Tout-Puissant, Créateur du ciel et de la terre, donneur de vie, nous t'adorons aujourd'hui. Nous te louons car tu es le Dieu qui donne la vie. Qui donne la famille, 
la bénédiction, les saisons de joie, ainsi que les saisons de tristesse. Nous te remercions pour les nombreux souvenirs heureux de Claude que sa famille et ses amis partagent. Nous prions pour que tu sois avec ceux qui sont dans le deuil et que tu te fasses connaître puissamment à tout le monde ici aujourd'hui. Apporte-nous tout le réconfort et la paix que toi seul peux apporter. Nous demandons ces miséricordes au nom de Jésus. Amen. Amen. We will take our orders of service, stand and sing our first hymn, In Christ Alone, My Hope is Found. We stand to sing.
The reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 17 to 27. This is the Word of God. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and <coughs> one of the brothers had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Amen. Amen. À son arrivée, Jésus a pris, comme avait enseveli Lazare depuis quatre jours déjà. Bethany était à moins de trois kilomètres de Jérusalem. Aussi beaucoup de gens étaient venus chez Marc et Marie pour leur présenter leurs condoléances à l'occasion de la mort de leur frère. Quand Marc a pris que Jésus approchait du village, elle alla à sa rencontre. Marie, elle resta à la maison. Marthe dit à Jésus, « Seigneur, si tu avais été ici, mon frère ne serait pas mort. Mais je sais que maintenant encore, tout ce que tu demandes à Dieu, il te l'accorde. Son frère le suscitera, lui dit Jésus. Je sais bien, répondit Marthe, qu'il ne vient pas la vie au dernier jour lors de la résurrection. Moi, je suis la résurrection et la vie, lui dit Jésus. Celui qui place toute sa confiance en moi vivra, même s'il meurt. Et quiconque vit et croit en moi ne mourra jamais. Crois-tu cela? Oui, Seigneur, lui répondit-elle. Je crois que tu es le Messie, le Fils de Dieu, celui qui devait venir dans le monde. Amen. We will stand and sing our next hymn. When I survey a wondrous cross on which a prince of glory died, please stand to sing.
Please be seated. We now have a little time for family and friends to come up here if they wish and to bring tributes and memories of Claude. We have some time for that. So please now, if you would like to come, uh, do, do come forward and the microphone is yours. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'd like to start by saying thank you for everyone that come. Pa Sangha was my father. I love him very much. Unfortunately, I'm standing here today and I have nothing to say. Can't. I've got so much emotions going through me and I'm staying strong for all of you lot. And I'm happy that all of you lot come here to show your support because you would have really loved this to be fair yeah. everyone just stay strong because I'm staying strong thank you there's time for any more who would like to to come and speak Thank you. 
You never set out to be You never set out to be You will, you will go before I it, and only God will be mine. A million times I've needed you, and a million times I've cried. If love alone could have saved me, you never would have died. In life, I love you, Jimmy. In death, In life I love you, I love you daily, in death I love you still, in my heart you hold a place that no one can ever fill. In a world of my heart to lose you, but you didn't go alone, for God can be with you, the day God took you home. Rest in peace, Rest in peace, Rest in peace.
that even though he was a bit somehow, you know, he, you know, stop drinking, stop this, he'll be a bit, you know, stubborn. But one thing I know is that he loved God. And I remember in 2018, he gave his life to Christ. <laughs> and I remember when he tried to quote a verse in the Bible, he said, he said, 15 Matthew 5. We, like, we were laughing in the kitchen. We said, no, that's not how you say it. The scripture is Matthew 15 5. He was, he, I'm not the only child, I'm not the only children, but I know wherever he went, he loved children. And when he saw, even if he didn't know the child, he would make sure he gives something make sure he shows love. Um, I've known I applaud it to, to not be an angry person, to not be someone that holds grudges. He's the type of person, you shout at him today, the next minute he's making jokes to you or he's, he just wants to get in, um, your nerves, but he was, he was a simple man. Even though he loved to dress, but he was he wasn't a person that would show off. He was a person that likes life simple. He likes people to be okay. As long as you're okay, he's okay. That's why when we lost um, two people lately, he was there constantly. He made sure that he was they were okay. And um, um Who is that person that is going to come in my room without knocking? Every time he comes, he's like, yeah, yeah, give me time to pack. Yeah, give me time to Your Bible is midnight. No, you just give me something. And I remember the last week, there was on a Tuesday. He does that to many children. It was on a Tuesday, he said, yeah, yeah, give me time to pass. And I don't have. Please, just yeah, I'll give it back to you. And that was the last time I gave him something. Because when he gives, he gives freely. He doesn't look at his pocket. Whatever is in his pocket, he just gives. If it's a hundred, he won't look back. He will just give. That's the type of man he was. He was, type of, he was very free. He would take your children. He would take you as siblings. He would take the children as his own. He didn't discriminate. He showed love. He showed love. And, um, that's one thing I would take from him. He didn't care who you were, he didn't care if you were black or white or yellow, whatever you were. He would take you in in his own house. He would look after you like his own sibling. Um, one thing I'll say, I had things that I prepared, but every time I prepare, I'll stop. My, best, my simple message and the last is just, if you haven't given your life to Christ, give your life to Christ. Because my brother did. You can be having parties, going parties here and there, but at the end of the day, it's you and God. I kept telling him every time, it's you and God. You can be going parties there, no one will care for you. It will be you and God that you will face. One day we will go. One day we will go and we will face that King of Kings. And it's either you choose heaven or hell. It's very simple. That's the message I have. If you haven't given your life to Christ, this is the time to give your life to Christ. Um, I know there were two people that wanted to speak. I don't know if they have the strength to speak. I don't know if they really wanted to speak. Um, I don't know if you yeah, wanted to speak. Do you want to speak? There's Thank you. Hello everyone. I'm not really good at talking to people about this, but I have to say something today. Um, I know it's a sad time, but I just want everyone to stay strong. You know, see, instead of all thinking what I meant to be, be that like you were in our lives and that like, um, we could share time. You know, because me, I don't really feel anything like 
too, too bad because I'm not every time I came in my room and I was with him, I told him what you think. And I said what you think. So I don't regret nothing. Do you think? And yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, Sean. He was a great man. And then me and them sort of took a fight. And like, he was saying that he was more like, I'm more like a kid than that. that um, he was like, them sort of more like that. And me and him were always joking about it and they were serious. And then they said that we were always a bit serious and stuff. I just want, I just want everyone to stay strong and stay together. Because everyone's going to need each other, you know, because we're all going to go one day. And, then, and yeah, I just want everyone to stay strong. Thank you. Do we have one more? Or? I think Pastor Anderson and Lombard would like to come up now. And um, Pastor Ngombo will lead us in prayer. Nous allons prier. Père éternel, créateur du ciel et de la terre, nous te louons et nous te rendons grâce pour ce jour que tu nous accordes. Père, pendant ce moment de chagrin de douleur, nous reconnaissons, Seigneur, ta présence et ta grâce au milieu de ton peuple. Père, au nom de Jésus, nous recommandons, Seigneur, entre tes saintes mains, Seigneur, la famille, ainsi que les enfants, Seigneur, de cette famille qui ont perdu leur père à ce moment. Père, c'est entre tes mains que nous remettions alors ton fils et serviteur, celui qui est auprès de toi, notre frère Claude. Père, nous reconnaissons aujourd'hui que ta bonté et ta fidélité est si grande au milieu, Seigneur, de cette famille. C'est la raison pour laquelle nous te prions, Père, que ta main se repose sur eux, et que la paix de l'Éternel les scelle aujourd'hui, Seigneur. Père, nous disons, oui, que le bonheur et la grâce leur accompagnent dès aujourd'hui jusqu'au jour sans fin. Et que ta fidélité, la fidélité de ta bonté, soit toujours présente au milieu d'eux. Et qu'il habite, Seigneur, sous la protection de l'Éternel, comme est, Seigneur, ton amour et ta bonté. C'est là notre prière aujourd'hui, au nom de Jésus, que nous avons ainsi prié. Nous disons tous, Amen. Amen. Merci. Pastor, we chanson, chanson. We're going to sing our uh, third hymn, Psalm, and Psalm, Vingt-trois. The Lord's my shepherd, the Seigneur, in mon berger. Oh, not more. Let's stand and sing together our third hymn.
second scripture reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, I'm reading from verse 15. I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory, through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Word of God. Notre deuxième lecture de la parole de Dieu, 1 Corinthiens 15, verset 50. Ce que je dis, frères et sœurs, c'est que notre corps de chair et de sang ne peut accéder au royaume de Dieu. Ce qui est corruptible ne peut avoir part à la corruptibilité. Voici, je vais vous révéler un mystère. Nous ne passerons pas tous par la mort, mais nous, nous serons tous transformés en un instant, en un clin d'œil, au son de la trompette dernière. Car lorsque cette trompette retentira, les morts ressusciteront pour être désormais incorruptible, tandis que nous, nous serons changés. En effet, ce corps corruptible doit se revêtir d'incorruptibilité et ce corps mortel doit se revêtir d'immortalité. Lorsque ce corps corruptible aura détruit l'incorruptibilité et que ce corps mortel aura détruit l'immortalité, alors se trouvera réaliser cette parole de l'Écriture. La victoire totale sur la mort a été remportée. Ô oh mort, qu'est devenue ta victoire Ô oh mort, où est ton dard Le dard de la mort, c'est le péché. Et le péché tire sa force de la mort. In these words, the Apostle Paul asks a question and he addresses it to death as if death were a person. Sometimes death is presented as a person. For example, the so-called Grim Reaper, a sinister silhouette of a skeleton with a hood carrying a scythe. Parfois, la mort est présentée comme une personne. Par exemple, la soi-disant faucheuse, une silhouette sinistre d'un squelette avec une capuche portant une faux. In the Bible, in the book of Revelation, death is presented as a rider on a pale horse, a horse of deathly color. Dans la Bible, dans le livre de l'Apocalypse, la mort est présentée comme un cavalier sur un cheval pâle, un cheval de couleur mortelle. O oh death, where is your victory? O oh death, where is your sting? O oh mort, qu'est devenue ta victoire? O oh mort, où est ton dard? Death is like a sting. La mort est comme une piqûre. 
Many of us know what it is to be stung. Beaucoup d'entre nous savent ce que, ce que ça fait d'être piqué. A stinging nettle is mild but still unpleasant. La piqûre d'une ortie est peu de chose, mais reste désagréable quand même. Bee and wasp stings are much more painful, the sting of a scorpion more painful still. A sting causes pain and distress. But a sting can be a picture of other kinds of pain. We can be stung by other people's criticism. We can be stung by an unexpected disappointment. But the greatest sting in this human world is the sting of death. It is felt in different ways. There is the sting of anticipating our own death with fear and disappointment. Then there is the sting of another's death, someone close to us, the sting of bereavement. Is the sting of death final? Does death win the victory? La mort la victoire? If all we knew was this world and our experience of this world, it might look this way. Si tout ce que nous connaissons, c'était ce monde, et notre expérience de ce monde, cela pourrait ressembler à cela. Everyone dies. Tout le monde meurt. Life can be long or short. La vie peut être longue ou courte. The one who dies can be rich or poor. Celui qui meurt peut être riche ou pauvre. But they all come to the same end. Mais ils ont tous la même fin. Every gravestone tells you the year someone was born and the year they died. Chaque pierre tombale vous indique l'année de naissance et l'année de décès, de décès d'une personne. These are the only two facts that are true for us all. Ce sont les deux seuls faits qui sont vrais pour nous tous. Everyone is born and everyone dies. Tout le monde naît et tout le monde meurt. Everyone succumbs to the sting of death. But it is because the sting of death is not final, it is because death does not win the final victory that I am speaking to you now. Mais c'est parce que l'aiguillon de la mort n'est pas définitif. C'est parce que la mort ne remporte pas la victoire finale. Here at Grove Chapel, as in every faithful church of God, we believe and teach that Jesus Christ has defeated death and drawn the sting of death for all those who look to him in faith. Ici, at Grove Chapel, comme dans toutes les églises fidèles de Dieu, nous croyons et enseignons que Jésus Christ a vaincu la mort et a tiré l'aiguillon de la mort pour tous ceux qui se tournent vers lui avec foi. In the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15, it says that through death he, that is Jesus, might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who, through fear of death, were subject to lifelong slavery. Dans la lettre aux Hébreux, 
chapitre 2, verset 14. Il est dit que par la mort, Jésus pouvait détruire celui qui a le pouvoir de la mort, c'est-à-dire le diable, et délivrer tous ceux qui, par crainte de la mort, étaient soumis à l'esclavage. How can the sting of death, the fear of death, be drawn out and destroyed? Comment l'aiguillon de la mort, la peur de la mort, peut-il être retiré et détruit? Jesus Christ did this through his own death and resurrection. Jésus Christ l'a fait par sa propre mort et sa propre résurrection. Propre, oui. Excellent. There is no other way for death to be defeated than for the sinless Son of God to die in the place of sins. Il n'y a pas d'autre moyen pour vaincre la mort à part que pour le Fils de Dieu sans péché de mourir à la place des péchés. Why is there death in this world? Pourquoi y a-t-il la mort dans le monde? Because the wages of sin is death. Parce que le salaire du péché, c'est la mort. That is why you and I must die. C'est pourquoi vous et moi devons mourir. But Jesus never sinned and therefore never deserves to die. Mais Jésus n'a jamais péché et n'a, n'a donc jamais mérité de mourir. Why did he die? Pourquoi est-il mort? How could he die? Comment pouvait-il mourir? Out of love for his people. Par amour pour son peuple. He died in their place. Il est mort à leur place. So, if our trust and faith, as we've heard already from Fonchon, If our trust and faith are in Jesus Christ alone, if this is true for you and me personally, not by association, not by connection with someone else, but through individual repentance, turning away from sin and faith in Christ alone, death indeed loses its sting and its victory. Don't. Si notre confiance et notre foi sont en Jésus-Christ seul, si cela est vrai pour vous et moi personnellement, pas par association, pas par connexion avec quelqu'un d'autre, mais par la répentance individuelle, ce détournant du péché et la foi en Christ seul, la mort en effet perd son aiguillon et sa victoire. For those who die in Christ, these words are true and comforting. Pour ceux qui meurent en Christ, ces paroles sont vraies et réconfortantes. Psalm 17, verse 15. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied. With your likeness. Psalm 17, verse 15. Quant à moi, je verrai ta face dans la justice. Quand je me réveillerai, quand je me réveillerai, je serai satisfait de ta ressemblance. We are going to sing another hymn in a moment. But I want to ask each of you personally. Can you sing it in your heart? Is Jesus your Savior? We will sing our final hymn. We will stand and sing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Please be seated. I say you will be blessed. There will now be the opportunity for a viewing of the body of the, of the deceased. So uh, starting from the front row, it's sort of maybe coming around along the path. John will remove the microphone.
is a prayer of Moses, a man of God. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, 
Return, O oh children of man, for a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, or as a watch in the night. The years of our life are seventy, or even by reason of strength eighty, yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? And then Moses says, and God says, teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. And now, gentlemen, Since it has pleased Almighty God to take to the soul of the departed Lord Amen. 
Stay strong. Ça, Zali. 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 Ça,
ça va bateau va va faire on déposer va faire comme ça tous les temps c'est
celui qui écoute les prières. Voilà pourquoi toutes les nations viendront à toi, ô Éternel. l'accomplissement de tes promesses. Tu es fidèle au éternel. Voilà pourquoi nos cœurs se confient pleinement en toi.
This is the time to praise the Lord. Idikai, one more time. Vous connaissez la vérité. Et la vérité se fera le devoir de vous approcher par elle-même. Plus fort, Jésus-Christ est Seigneur. Dieu merci. Qui a dit que danser pour le Seigneur est un péché Pasteur Mathieu Gagnon. 